what's good YouTube? It's your boy JR. In today's video, I got one of the best working VC glitches on NBA 2K20. This VC glitch is different from the other Unlimited My Player Nation glitches because whenever you do it this way, you get 1700 VC opposed to 1000. So uh, real quick, before I get into the video, I have placed a VC code for Nota Gang somewhere in this video. So if you guys would like to win some free VC, make sure you guys watch the video, turn on post notifications, and uh, sub up to the channel. Then I'm also running this giveaway on all my videos as well. If this video hits 500 likes, make sure you guys comment down below your Instagram or Twitter. Let me know if you're on PS4 or Xbox. If this video hits 500 likes, I'll pick and choose some out of the comment section and send them a $10 PSN or Xbox gift code. You guys love OBS. You guys know I'm always looking out for Naughty Gang. Thank you guys so much for all the support, man. It really means a lot. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get right into the video. Alright, so I want to explain this glitch. Um, the player that I'm doing it on is the first player that I ever made. And right now, I believe on, I'm on season 2. Um, and with this player, I won, I won the championship and all that good stuff. But whenever I do the My Player Nation glitch on this player, instead of only getting a thousand VC, I'm able to get, I'm able to actually get seventeen hundred VC. So whenever I do this, um, I play six minutes and then I file out. Then I do the glitch and then I repeat it over and over again. And whenever you do it this way, instead of getting a thousand VC, you're gonna get seventeen hundred. I'm not sure why I'm getting seventeen hundred. It has to do something with the contract or maybe. Uh, one of the endorsements that I unlocked on this player. Maybe you guys can let me know that part because I haven't played my really played my career like that in a long time. So, uh, like I said, the player that I'm doing this on is my very first player. And then to be able to do this glitch, you have to be able to ask for a trade. So you have to be a starter on your team. And then you also can't be past the trade deadline. And then you also have to play 10 games in that season. So keep that in mind. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this. Um, as you guys see, as you guys can see right now, I don't have a Mod Player Nation game available. But if you did, you want to make sure that you got you guys go ahead and play it. But in my case, I do not. So I'm on the Mod Player Nation tab right here. So the first team that I want to try to get traded to is the Hornets or the the Wizards. But the very first step that you guys have to do is whenever you load the player that you're doing the glitch on. Make sure that you guys load him up and then quit back out to the NBA 2K20 main menu. And then once you go to the main menu, make sure you guys do this stuff or I'm telling you, you're probably going to get it stuck on a team if you do not. Once you get back to the main menu, all you want to do is close out the app and then reload it back up. All right, so once you load the game back up, just load the player that you're gonna be doing the VC glitch on. All right, so step number one is, get, is to get traded. Uh, let me go back to the My Player Nation tab. So the team that I'm gonna go to is the Hornets or the Wizards. So you wanna go over to progression and then request trade, and you can see the Wizards are the very first one. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get traded to them. And then what you do from here is go back over to play next game and then sim like three or four games. And then once the simulation is, is over, you'll see that I'm current, I'm on that new team that I just got traded to. So now I'm on the Wizards. So now what you guys want to do is go ahead and load up the Mob Player Nation game that you have available. So to do this glitch and to get your VC, you have to play six minutes and then foul out. Super easy and super simple. But whenever you're, whenever I do it with this player right here, I get 1,700 VC opposed to just getting a thousand whenever I do it the other way. So again, I think it's because I have a certain endorsement. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe you guys can let me know, but I'm gonna go ahead and load this game up. All right, so like I said, you wanna get, um, you wanna get your file fouls and then you wanna play six minutes and then foul out. So whenever you're waiting to get your six minutes, I mean, you don't really have to play. All you have to do is just chill, maybe you have homework to do or whatever the case might be. And then you can press start here and then you can see that it shows how many minutes you played. So once you've got your five fouls and then you played six minutes, just foul out and you'll still get your VC. Now I'll show you guys that generally in my other video, like I said, that link will be in the description if you guys wanna check it out. Whenever you do this, you only get a thousand VC, but this way you're getting 1700 VC every time that you do it. So I'm just gonna show you guys this real fast. Look at my stat line, you can see all zeros except I, I played six minutes. So now that I've played six minutes, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and foul out. And then all it's gonna do is it's just gonna take me out of the game. And then once the game is over, you'll see I still get my VC. 
like I said, generally you would only get a thousand VC whenever you do this the original way, and you guys can check that out. Link will be in the description. But whenever you do it this way, you're actually going to get um, 1700 VC. And I'm not sure if it's because, like I said, this player that, I, that I'm doing it on right now, um, I played two seasons with him, like one and a half seasons. So maybe there's some kind of endorsement that gives me that extra 700 VC. I'm not sure, but I'll show you guys what I mean in one moment. All right, so here in a moment, you're going to see that it's going to give me my VC. All right, so you can see it gave me 1700. I'm not exactly sure why it's giving me 1700. Generally, it would only give me a thousand. So it might be an endorsement that I have with this player. I'm not exactly sure. Like I said, you guys let me know. But after you got your VC to keep doing this over and over again, hit the middle button on your Xbox, press start on NBA 2K20, go to manage game and add-ons, go to save data, click on your user profile, and then hit delete from console. Do not delete from everywhere or you'll lose all your players. Make sure you guys hit delete from console. And then once you do that, go ahead and reload the game back up. Once you load the game back up, go ahead and load up the player that you're doing the glitch on. So as you can see right here, it put me right back on the bulls. So I'm gonna go ahead and reload this player back up. So real quick, just to show you guys, I'm gonna show you guys this two more times to just show you guys that you can spam it. Um, real quick, I just wanna show you guys that my VC does stack. So to do that, I wanna go to, let's see. I guess the animation store is gonna be the fastest way because I have all the upgrades on this player. So check my VC and now I'm just gonna do it again. So now um, I'm gonna do the same exact thing. Let's see, this time I'm gonna try to go to the Raptors or Cleveland. So go back over to progression, request trade, and then we're gonna look for the Raptors or Cleveland. All right, so there's Cleveland. Uh, I'm gonna hit yes there, hit okay. And then go back over to play next game, sim three or four games. And then when the simulation is complete, you will be able to play the next Mob Player Nation game. So you can see right here, I'm able to play yet again, another Mob Player Nation game, which is gonna give me another 1700. Super easy and super quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and love this game up. So I'm going to do the same exact thing one more time. I'm going to get five fouls, play six minutes, and then I'm going to foul out. And like I said, you're still going to get your VC. So I'll show you guys me getting my VC. And then I'll also do it again. And I will show you guys that it also does add up. So look, I did the same exact thing. You can see I have big zeros all the way through. Uh, I shot one, three. I don't really know why I've done that, but it doesn't matter. You can still see all zeros. And then I played for six minutes. So now I'm gonna foul out and you're gonna see I'm gonna get 1700 VC once again. All right, so this game went into overtime, which was kind of annoying, but um, if you are looking to keep your 99 overall, then you guys might actually wanna score in these games because you will lose your 99 overall. But you can see I was able to get 1700 once again. So it has to be something to do with one of my in incentives or contracts. I'm not exactly sure why I'm able to get 1700 because most of the time you're only supposed to be able to get 1K. But once you get your VC, hit the middle button on your Xbox, hit start on eBay 2K20, go to manage game and add on, go to save data, hit A on your user profile, and then hit delete from console. And then do not delete from everywhere or you'll lose all your players. And then go ahead and reload the game back up. Once the game loads back up, go back and load up the player that you've been doing a glitch on. You can see on the file right here that it put me back on the bulls, which allows me to ask for a trade again, which also allows me to keep spamming this over and over again. All right, so just to show you guys that I'm not, you know, trying to make this up or anything like that. Um, let me go back to my um, BC. So I'm gonna go to the animation store. And then you can see right here that I was able to go up 1700 once again. So, so I've done this twice so far. I'm just going to show you guys this one more time just to show you guys that it is legit and that your VC will stack. So, um, and that you won't get stuck on, on a team if you do this glitch, right? 
So um, you need to go back to your Malplayer Nation tab, and then this time I'm gonna try to get traded to the Sixers for Atlanta. So I'm going back to progression, request trade, and then this time I'm gonna find the 76ers or Atlanta. All right, so there's the Sixers. I'm gonna get traded to them, and then go back over to play next game, and then sim three or four games, and then once the simulation compl will, is complete, you'll be traded to your new team. And then go back to your mod player nation game and then repeat the same thing play six minutes get five fouls and then play get five fouls play six minutes and then foul out so i'm just going to go ahead and load this game up all right so just to show you guys you know this is legit i'm going to go ahead and uh i just want to show you guys me uh me actually being in the game just so nobody can say that this is fake or whatever but um, so like I said, I'm gonna get my five fouls, play six minutes, and then foul out. Then I'll show you guys me getting my VC once again. All right, so this home, same thing. I have zero across the board. I did accidentally get an assist. It doesn't matter. That assist doesn't you know affect anything. But um, so I played six minutes, and then now I'm just gonna go ahead and foul out, and I'm just gonna show you guys I'm able to get my VC again. And now I'm gonna show you guys that it does stack up. All right, so you can keep it again. Um, like I said, if you're trying to keep your 99 overall doing this on a player that has your endorsements, then I don't know if you want to do it or not, but here's 1700 VC once again. So once you get your VC, hit the middle button on your Xbox, click start on NBA TV 20, go to manage game and add-ons, go to save data, click on your user profile, and then hit delete from console. And then once you do that, go ahead and reload the game back up. Once the game loads back up, you can see that once again, we'll be back in the bulls. So I'm gonna go ahead and reload this player back up. So <clears throat> you can see it put me back in Chicago. Um, so if I want to do this again, I would just go to my player nation and then I would pick a different team. Make sure you pick a different team and make sure you pick a team that you haven't played against as well. I usually just do it in order by this board right here. And then let me just show you guys that, I, that my VC is also stacking up. So I'm just gonna let this load up here. All right, so you can see my VC stacked up. So I got that 1700 times three extremely fast. So like I said, guys, this was just a new way that I found that gives you even more VC than the original My Player Nation uh, glitch that I showed you guys before. And I just wanted to share it with you guys.